hardest part of the book was actually not plot or a character. It was structure. It was trying to figure out the shape of the novel and kind of what it was. So that was what I struggled with the most. But the hardest plot or character thing was, uh, was writing Jonathan, the criminal at the center of the book. And, you know, the real challenge there was that, you know, while, while every character in the book is completely fictional, the central crime in the book, that massive Ponzi scheme, was based on a real-life event, Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme, which collapsed in 2008. So I had this sort of template for the crime, but Bernie Madoff is so uninteresting. Like, if you read interviews with him, he just comes across as such a garden-variety sociopath. There's just, like, nothing there. So I didn't have a template for the criminal. And, you know, villains are really hard to write because how do you make them nuanced and interesting in a way that they feel human? You know, you, you don't want that sort of like Disney villain mustache twirling guy. You know, like that's sad. <laughs> it's not real enough. So, yeah, I found Jonathan to be by far the hardest character to figure out. I have a couple of ideas. Um, this first one isn't mine. It's something I heard Neil Gaiman say. And, you know, what I heard him say once in the category of advice for beginning writers is finish what you start. And I thought that was so smart because it's so easy to start anything. You know, like anybody can write a riveting first sentence. But seeing that through for 10 pages for a short story or 300 pages for a novel, like that's the hard part. And it seemed to me that what he was saying with that statement is, you know, you start writing, it's going well, and then you kind of lose track of what you were doing, you start to get a little bit bored, and the characters are kind of irritating you, so you put it aside, you start something else. But it's in working through those problems that you become a better writer. So I thought that was really great advice. And then on the publishing side, I, I think what I, the idea that I'd just like to leave with people is don't assume that the publishing world is closed to you. I think there's this narrative out there that you have to know the right people or have gone to the right school or go to the right parties or, you know, whatever it is. And to be clear, I assume those things don't hurt, but, you know, I certainly had none of them. Um, and there are people all through the publishing industry whose job is to find great new work. So if you can try to focus on writing the great new work and not worry too much about not having an MFA, I think... Uh, I think it'll serve people well. <laughs> you know, I think what I'm trying to figure out if a structure works, I think a lot about a line that I heard from, well, that same editor, actually, Greg Michelson, who had this snowblind comment. He said, the plot must sing with tension. And I love that idea. That's like a guitar string. So... The structure has to be something that keeps the tension constant throughout. And yeah, it's really super hard to articulate, but it's like your book has to be structured in a way so that there's nothing extraneous, you know? So a, a really common structural problem that I see in books is there's an absolutely gripping first chapter. You know, it's like the most dramatic drama that's ever dramaed across the page. And then there are 150 pages of exposition and backstory. And by that point, I'm asleep. So, like, I can't, you know, I can't figure out how we got back to, you know, the drama. Um, so, yeah, avoiding those lulls, I think, is a big part of structure. Um, trying to, I guess, also thinking in terms of character development. But, you know, you can't have a character for who's like primary for the first 10 pages and then have him disappear for 200 pages. You know, the structure has to be such that you see him again. Things like that. Um, it's funny, I don't talk about structure in depth that often and it's surprisingly difficult to articulate. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes it can feel like this slightly mysterious intuitive process where it's like you're putting a puzzle together and you know it's right when you see it. <laughs> 